Hi there, fifth graders. Tonight, we're going to learn all about order of operations. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go find a piece of notebook paper so that you can take notes on it. Go ahead and press pause, find your paper, and come right back and we'll get started. First of all, I want to talk to you about the history of order of operations. If you look at this equation right here, 6 plus 2 times 3, many people might get different answers. Some people might say 6 plus 2 is 8, and then 8 times 3 is 24. Other people might say 2 times 3 is 6 first, and then 6 plus the 6 is 12. Well, I know that 12 and 24 are not the same answer. So mathematicians realize that you need to follow order of operations, so there will always be one correct answer. If not, you might have many answers for an equation. So tonight we're going to talk about the order of operations, so everyone will have the same answer. Let's get started. Now in class tomorrow, we'll be talking about different motions with our hands to help us remember. But I want to go ahead and show you that if you use parentheses first, then if there's exponents in your equation, you will do the exponents after you've done everything inside parentheses. Then from left to right, whatever comes first, you'll either multiply or divide. Now this part's very important. You want to multiply or divide whatever comes first from left to right. Then you want to add or subtract from left to right, whatever comes first. Now I have my friends here showing you with their hand motions, adding and subtracting. All right, and we'll be doing that in class tomorrow too, so you'll get really good at it. So again, let's review. First of all, what you always want to do is what's inside parentheses first. Then, if you have any exponents, you do those next. Then, from left to right, you're going to multiply or divide whatever comes first in your equation. Finally, after you've done your multiplying and dividing, then you can do your adding or your subtracting. So I went ahead and made this little chart right up here for you to see as a reminder. So you can know that you always do parentheses first, then exponents, then from left to right in your equation, you're going to multiply or divide whatever comes first. And then finally, at the very end, after you've multiplied or divided, then you can save your addition or subtraction for last. So let's look at this equation right here. We have 8 plus 3 times 2. Well, do we have any parentheses? No. Are there any exponents? No. Do we have multiplying or dividing? Yes, we do. Let's work from left to right. There's my multiplying right there, so I'm going to do that first. So I'm going to do 3 times 2 first. So go ahead on your paper and write 8 plus 3 times 2. And directly below the 3 times 2, we're going to solve it. So let's go ahead and write 6. Now I'm going to bring everything else down. I'm going to bring my 8 and my plus because I've already solved my 3 times 2. So I'm going to bring my 8 and my plus sign. I've already used my 3 times 2, which I got 6. And now my last step is to add or subtract. So now I can add. So 8 plus 6 equals 14. Now do you see, if you did not follow order of operations, you might have made the mistake of saying 8 plus 3 first and got 11 and then did 11 times 2, which is 22. This is not 22. Do you see how we'd have two different answers? This is why we follow order of operations. So following order of operations, let's try another one. Okay, friends, so on your paper, please go ahead and write 15 minus 10 divided by 2. All right, and now let's look at our order of operations. Let's start out. Do you see any parentheses? No, we don't have any. Do we have any exponents in this equation? No, we do not. Multiplying or dividing? I see it right here. So we go from left to right. 
and we're going to go from 10 divided by 2 first. So let's go ahead and write down 15 minus 10 divided by 2. And directly below 10 divided by 2, I'm going to make a little arrow right there. And I'm going to solve it. And I know 10 divided by 2 is 5 because 5 times 2 is 10. Now, my next step is I want to add or subtract. So I'm going to bring my 15 minus down next to my 5. Remember, we've already solved 10 divided by 2 and we got 5. So let's go ahead and bring 15 minus down. And now we can do the next step in our order of operations. Do we have any adding from left to right? No, but we do have subtracting from left to right. So 15 minus 5, we all should have the difference of 10. So 15 minus 10 divided by 2 equals 10. Okay, so please for this next question, write 10 divided by 2 times 5. All right, let's take a look at our order of operations. Now, if I start out with my parentheses, there still aren't any parentheses in this equation. Do you see any exponents? No, we don't have those. Multiply or divide from left to right, whatever comes first in your equation. So even though it says multiply or divide, you have to go from left to right in your equation. So let's start in our equation. Do you see any multiplying or dividing first? I see dividing right here first. So I'm going to divide before I multiply. All right, so let's go ahead and solve 10 divided by two. And I know 10 divided by two is five. So I'm going to solve that. And now I can just bring my multiplying by 5 down. My times 5 directly down. And, and now we can do our multiplying from left to right. 5 times 5 is 25. So 10 divided by 2 times 5 equals 25. Now, it's very important that you did not do 2 times 5 first and then get 10 and then did 10 divided by 10 is 1. Do you see how you'd end up with two answers? This is why you follow order of operations. So let's go ahead and take a look at this equation. We have 5 times 2 minus parentheses 6 plus 2 parentheses. Go ahead and record this down on your paper. 5 times 2 minus parentheses 6 plus 2. And now let's come over here and look at our order of operations. First we want to do what's in parentheses. I see parentheses are right here. So I'm going to go ahead and solve what's inside my parentheses first. I have 6 plus 2. So right below our 6 plus 2, let's solve it. I have 8 as that sum. Now to keep things organized, I'm going to rewrite 5 times 2 minus. Now the reason why we stop right there is because we've already done what's in parentheses. We've already done 6 plus 2 and that's where we get this sum. But I went ahead and dropped everything else down. 5 times 2 minus and I dropped it down right there. Now let's take a look at our chart again. We've done what's in parentheses. There aren't any exponents in this equation. Multiply or divide from left to right, whatever comes first. So let's look at our new equation right here. 5 times 2 minus 8. I want to multiply or divide from left to right, whatever comes first. So I see I can multiply right here. So let's solve that. 5 times 2 is going to be... 10. So directly below 5 times 2, will you please write 10? And then we're going to bring down our minus 8. Let's go ahead and drop that down. And now looking at my chart, we've done our multiplying or dividing from left to right, and that's where we got our 10. And now add or subtract from left to right. I can see I can subtract. So 10 minus 8 is the difference of 2. So this equation has the answer of 2. All right, please go ahead and record on your paper 8 plus 12 divided by 3 times 2. And let's take a look at our chart. 
All right, for my chart, I have parentheses first, and this time we don't have any parentheses, so let's move on to exponents. Again, we don't have any exponents here. So now we're going to look at multiplying or dividing from left to right, whatever comes first. Let's start here from the left and work our way to the right. Whatever comes first, multiplying or dividing. I see right here I have a division sign. So I'm going to divide 12 divided by 3. So now I'm going to rewrite my equation after I solve 12 divided by 3. So directly below your 12 divided by 3, will you please solve that? 12 divided by 3 equals 4. All right, now this is where you have to be very organized. You have to bring everything else down in the order that it appears. So we're going to bring down our 8 and our plus, and I'm going to put that right here, 8 plus. Now here's our answer to our 12 divided by 3, which is 4, and now I'm going to bring down the times 2 directly down. I'm not bringing the 3 because I've already used it. I've divided my 12 divided by 3. So now I'm just going to drop down the times 2. And now we can go back to our equation again. From left to right, look right here. Multiplying or dividing, do we still have any of that to do? Yes, we do, right here. I still have a multiplying problem. So I have 4 times 2 in my equation. I'm going to solve 4 times 2, and I'm going to get 8. And I'm going to bring down my 8 plus directly down. And now my steps for order of operations says I'm going to add or subtract. And as you can see, that's all we have left. 8 plus 8, you should have the sum of 16 as the final answer for 8 plus 12 divided by 3 times 2 will give me 16. Now let's take a look at this one. I see I have three different symbols here. I have a multiplying symbol. I have a subtraction and I have an addition. So following order of operations, you start with parentheses and there aren't any in this equation, neither are there exponents, but I do have a multiplying or dividing. I have a multiplying right there. So this is where I'm focusing first, six times five. So everybody on your paper, write six times five minus four plus eight. Write that down, and then directly below your 6 times 5, we're going to solve that equation. 6 times 5 equals 30. Now watch carefully. I want you to bring everything else down in the order it appears. Be very careful about this. Don't make the mistake of adding 4 plus 8 first. Because remember, you always have to work from left to right whatever comes first. So we need to bring everything directly down. So I'm going to bring down my minus 4 plus 8. And now I can follow my order of operations. There aren't any more multiplying or dividing, but now I can move into add or subtract. So let's come back over here from left to right, whatever comes first. 30 minus 4 plus 8. And now if I'm going to work from left to right, whatever comes first, I see I have to subtract first because I'm working from left to right. So go ahead and let's subtract 30 minus 4. I know 30 minus 4 is 26. Now I'm going to bring my plus 8 down. 26 plus 8. And now let's go ahead and add it up. 26 plus 8 is going to equal 34. I hope order of operations are starting to make a lot more sense to you. So I want you to show me what you know based on our rules of order of operations. I want you to try these two homework problems all on your own. Please remember, follow the order of operations and you're guaranteed to get the same answer that I will have. All right, we'll check these two equations tomorrow in class. Also, don't forget on your notebook paper somewhere, please go ahead and write down if you feel like you're a novice on this topic, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert. You can just put one, two, three, or four. 
Again, here are your two questions. We'll check them tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.